Welcome to Ed Lead Scallon's workshop. Today we're going to have a quick little video and what we're going to do is talk about this guy here and this guy here. The wheel is going to be put together in about 15 minutes and we are going to have two PMHs, a four pole commutation, and what we're going to do is we are going to have this solenoid pushing the yoke to make a tool out of this and we are going to Okie dokie. So, I'm going to take this apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and experiment. And what I like to do is uh, Scott Russell out there has the YouTube channel. Uh, give a scout out, Scott out to, give a shout out to Scott. That was a tough one there. Um, on Scott's uh, videos, uh, Made by One Man. He has uh, obviously a grid going with the tripods and he has the wheel turning and it's setting off uh, a, a pulse from the pulse motor and going into a solenoid. So what I have noticed that uh, Edlius Scallon has that picture with him standing next to this thing that we call yoke. Um, and it obviously has uh, a steel pipe on it it has a top metal bar I guess to keep it structurally sound has on the far right like a wire going up past the picture frame and what um, we're going to try is we're, instead of having that wire coming up and hanging off a tripod and uh, going to the signal generator we're going to go ahead and do some experiments to send through this apparatus here which right now it's a capacitor but I'm going to turn it in from a capacitor I'm going to wrap, wrap, wrap some copper wire on the outside here and then we're going to match it up on this side as an antenna that'll be the antenna going out and then this will be the receiver to make this pulse and what we're going to do is make this long tube a solenoid to where it uh, goes back and forth from the pulse from this guy here now this guy here uh, I kind of like the wheel and the locomotive perpetual not perpetual but locomotive uh, the way it turns and strikes on this cylinder wall so um, what I'm going to do is incorporate another type of uh, tool that Ed could have used off the signal generator. Not saying that this is a signal generator and that's all it was. I'm saying it, it could be used for that. And it's definitely working out with all the parts that it most likely was a signal generator. But I also want to believe that there's other things that we're doing with this that uh, we're able to do. so. We're gonna do a little test with it from here and there, and I'm not claiming anything, but 
I think from my Tesla studies right now, I, I know that I could get this wheel turning, which we'll show later on in my next video. We'll have the wheel turning. It'll be turning from a 12 volt battery off my relay. And then it will go into my, uh, I would say capacitor slash antenna, because there's my antenna and my copper tube up top. And it's gonna put out a radio wave. And then over here, we're gonna do everything we can to try to receive a signal. So uh, once we accomplish, we can send a signal from this wheel to that antenna to this apparatus, then that takes the Edlius Scallon uh, grid into a whole new direction because uh, to have this in the workshop, Ed's workshop, and have it wires going everywhere, uh, it'd be nice because Ed talks about transmission. And in fact, down in Coral Castle in the cabinet, there's a book that Ed read. He obviously, he did a lot of reading because he um, went down to the library quite often. And you got to think about this, guys. Look at the pictures of Ed Leah Scallon if you're into them. Um, a lot of the pictures, uh, the castle's already built. He's older. Uh, some of the pictures, he's young. And the rocks behind him are smaller. And that would be when he lived at the first uh, Coral Castle, the first location. And uh, he didn't know at that time, uh, whatever it was, didn't know or whatever it was, he didn't have big boulders. He just had some sculpture pieces and the wall and everything around them is in two foot boulders. So there's no big boulders that kind of wow people. Now in the new location, he's got the big ones coming out. So obviously he had time to mess around with Coral Rock for, for a while down at the first location while he was young too. So you gotta look at those pictures, the pictures of him being old and young. When he had this wheel running, he pretty much, well, no telling when he had it but when he got into electricity and all that stuff the whole second location was already built i believe well that's enough for this video seven minutes of whatever you guys like your comments for you guys out there that like Edley Scallon. I don't make any claims, so I'm just trying shit out, and pretty much I'm the only one out there that's really got any serious interest, because, uh, I don't know, I spend probably 50 hours a week just on my Edlia Scallon workshop area here, and put a lot of time in. Wife's not liking that too much, but oh well. Alright, you guys. Interesting comments. Come on, let's get this machine pumping.